Hey Tubers, how's it going today? Mr. Green here and uh, sorry I haven't posted a video in the last little bit, just been really busy with family things. Uh, last week we went to a campground and I forgot my camera bag and I didn't get footage of anything and it was a really really nice campsite so I apologize for that and so yeah, I'm working in the gardens a lot, getting everything ready, and just busy with work. So, um, today's a rainy day, and uh, so I thought I'd come out and work on a project out in the shop um, for my son, actually. So, um, he is now six years old and is getting a lot more interested in, you know, the stuff Dad does, working with tools and stuff. And uh, I thought uh, it's about time that uh, I make him his own axe so that uh, when we're back in the bush that he can learn to use it safely and uh, and go from there so I got uh, a whole bunch of axe heads given to me um, and this is the one I'm gonna do for him it's just a little tiny axe like you know about the size of my hand I don't see a maker's mark on it but I haven't cleaned it up yet so Oh no, there is one on here. HW. You can see that right there. It's really hard. Once I get it cleaned up, I'll show you again here. But uh, we're going to get this cleaned up. I've got an old hickory handle from an old sludge hammer that's just, you know, it was no good on the end here where it was attached. It's all broken up. But the wood in the center is still in beautiful condition. I'm going to cut this down, uh, reshape it with the spoke shave, and uh, we'll get it to fit into that handle. So, alright, step one is uh, we'll get that axe head cleaned up, and uh, we've got to uh, get the insides all cleaned out where it broke off. This side's all painted over, so we got to chisel all that out, and then uh, we'll work at uh, getting the... The, the rest of the head cleaned out and uh, semi sharpened until uh, we actually get it fitted and then we'll do the final sharpening. But uh, here we go. Okay, well we got those three holes drilled. Now we need to see if we can punch this out. Okay, got that pounded out. And there it is. Made from, looks like poplar something real junky no strength to it at all so now what we'll do is we'll get this cleaned up and uh, see what we're looking at so we'll be back here in a minute
All right. Got it. Uh, there's some pitting and stuff like that. Like we'll, I'll do a, I'll do a final clean up here, shortly. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue the process on the rest of the sides, and we'll get it cleaned up. Okay. Well, I got it all uh, cleaned up here, and uh, somewhat shiny. Um, this is all I have for uh, for cleaning these types of things. I do not own a bench grinder with a wire wheel and a grinder on it. I would love to, just uh, can't afford one. So, but uh, that's where getting all this little bit of pitting out would be awesome on a on an actual wire wheel. I have one for a drill, but it just does not work the same when you can't control the piece the same so and you can see little swirl marks where it's wore it down a little bit but it's uh... it's actually really hard hard steel because to put this like i only put somewhat of an edge on it and just move the edge back a bit and that took about fifteen minutes slowly trying not to heat the heat the metal up so but uh... that's about as good as i'm going to be able to get it I uh, did take the steel wool to it, but these little ones that are in the pits here, that's going to be really hard to get out, and it's uh, not really going to hurt the functionality of it. So, all right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start laying out the handle, and we're going to see um, which way we want to do it and uh, where I need to cut it. So, we'll be back here in a second. Okay, so we got to start shaving this down. And then we'll cut the cut the widths and stuff. I don't have my I can't find my soft jaws for my vise. But we'll uh, we'll start shaving this down. Okay. Well, after a lot of sanding and using the spoke shave to get this down. Now this is all just rough right now just so I can get the handle to fit on there but uh, I can get it on there a little bit I've just got to work at it a little bit to get it uh, to fit a little tighter and then we can start working on the handle so it needs just a little bit more off the top here Okay, well, got the axe head fitted on there now, and now what I've decided to do is, like, this is going to be a little boy's axe, so I don't want it to be the full length of the axe handle that's here, it's just going to be too long for him, and uh, so I've decided to go with 20 inches from the end here all the way down the handle. So I've got that marked out, I'm going to pop this head back off and then we can start working on the handle so we'll be back here in a second okay so we'll just kind of get it cleaned up here first and then we'll kind of go with uh, this kind of shape I'm looking for here I want to put a little bit of a palm swell on the back to the sander and uh, start working on the end and all of that so Okay, so now that we have the basic concept of the handle, put a little Fawn's foot down here so if he's hanging on to it, he's a lot less likely to let it go. Um, gonna take the sandpaper and uh, really give it a nice clean up now, and then we'll uh, get uh, a little notch cut 
in the end of uh, the handle here so that we can spread it inside the axe head and uh, then we'll put some linseed oil on it so let's get over to the bench again okay so now I got it all sanded down took a 220 and, and really gave it a nice sanding and uh, just by hand you know just clean it up and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this blowtorch and we're gonna make it have a little darker like just darken up the grain a little bit just to give it its own kind of look as you can see there it kind of gives it like a rustic look So we're going to take this boiled linseed oil here. It's really congealed now, I don't know why. But if I get that stuff out of there, then I can get the good stuff. So, as you can see, you put that on the handle and it just brings it right to life. And I will do this a few times over the next couple of days just to really get it soaked in there. And I like to make a sheath for it too. There you go. Look at that. Looks beautiful. The next step is to get the head put on and uh, then we'll be back. Okay, this is all done now. It's uh, got the head on there and it turned out quite well. My son is going to love this. Uh, I do have to do the final sharpening yet, but uh, for a little boy's axe, it's going to be just perfect. Uh, it'll be something for him to learn on, learn on and uh, yeah, I'm uh, still going to build a sheath for it. Uh, that'll be another video, but uh, yeah, I appreciate everybody checking out this video, and uh, if you want to uh, keep... Uh, on top of all my videos that I put out, uh, please remember to subscribe. And as always, if you could give the video a thumbs up, would be greatly appreciated. So everybody have a great day, and we'll all talk to you soon.